dogs, that's one for my dogs Running up a chick when I'm on my paws Fridges or whatever, we gon' get you right For the right price, this my breeder's life This the lifestyle and the way we live How we get it done, how we feed our kids This my breeder's life, what we tell it all But the main thing is what for Welcome back to my breeder's life, man It's your host, George Mosley, man Today we gonna be with my boy, Aaron J Gonna show y'all how it is in the day of Aaron J, yeah. baby. <laughs> Boy got choices, man. Say what we gonna take today. The Ferrari, the AMG, the Rolls Royce. Man. Being a breeder, you're on call 24-7. Yeah. A good breeder. You know, when people see you at the deposit, you gotta make sure you answer that phone call. You know, my first breeding dog was my female Luna. She's eight years old now, about to turn eight. Her first litter was just gonna be for family and friends and close friends that wanted a puppy. And uh, she had eight puppies, her first litter. I had paid 5,000 for her, so I decided to just ask 5,000 a dog. Yeah. After I was done, I had 40,000 off the litter. And that made me re, re uh, rethink things on what the possibilities are with the breeding. So yeah. that's how it started. Yeah. All right, we're at my partner Reese's house now. Uh, I got goat here, uh, Chewy, a couple other females, but doing goat, same day shipping to Sacramento, or it's San Francisco, San Francisco. What up? Come on guys, come on in guys. I got my buddies with me. So they're filming for that, like a show, uh, Breeder's Life. My Breeder's Life, my Breeder's Life. But yeah, this is goat. The rug. We got the rug. You got, you got a routine with it, bro. Just give it go. He goes straight to the rug. That's why I keep the rug down for like traction, so that it's uh, rubber on the bottom, so they don't slip and slide on their paws. <laughs> this is the part that ain't the funnest, but somebody's got to do it. If you put body temperature semen into room temperature water it shocks a lot of the semen right off the beginning. So like, you know, the t you're supposed to have it the same temperature so it'll blend and mix together better. But if you have like cold room temperature, like 70 degree extender, and you put that 98 degree semen, it'll kill half of it, yep. like right off the bat. <laughs> so he's excited. <laughs> Chill. Oh. $5,000 shipping included. So wherever you're at, I can ship through FedEx overnight uh, to your clinic or your home. Or if you want um, same day shipping, we ship through the cargo account through American Airlines. And you send me five grand, I jack off the dog and we can send you the jib. <laughs> Pretty simple. Yeah, buddy. He said, I, I love when Uncle Aaron comes over. I double up. So like, if this is like four cc's, I add four cc's. Yeah, so it's about three and a half. So I'll go to like the seven. Man, we got to get a website. We just had like 6,500 boxes delivered, but we're still just so busy. We need to get a website built for these. Um, we're, we're trying to find someone that can like run this stuff because it's just like people are asking me, can I order 10 boxes? And I don't really have the time to go do a, a, a $200 shipping box order, you know? So, yes. Chewy, come here. Hey, dude. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> he says, someone gonna touch my penis or what? <laughs> say, hold on, it's my turn, baby. Hold on, what's up? He's all looking around. <laughs> yeah, nice short back. He's like 21 pounds, but he's a solid muscle, man. He's. And right now, you know, he's older. He don't work as much, but when he was in his prime, boy, he would, he's chilled out a lot now, but before yeah. they would fight all the time, he was so shredded. You would have thought we had this dog on steroids. Yeah. He, they'd play nonstop, so he was just fucking literally shredded, like. Plus, I took the sweet potatoes and the chicken out of them. Cool, man. We're going to get out of here, Reese. Thank you very much. Right, nice I don't even know where my keys are at. That's what they're doing, it's just a day in the life. So just, nothing's really scripted. We're just like, whatever we have to do, they're just gonna um, 
don't tag along and record it and stuff. So. Well, one thing I am glad about is that, um, they'll actually be able to capture because I literally did not know they were coming. Like that, you know, a lot of people on the bigger breeders and George will understand this. They automatically think you're like a puppy mill, you know? So it'll be nice that they can see like what it really is like in a house with 12 dogs. Oh, that's, that's, and that's a good, that's no a good point. No crazy We're at uh, Joanne's house, my partner, Anthony's mom. So envious Frenchie's mother. Uh, little Frenchie statue. Joanne, she's a great partner, super knowledgeable, and really good with dogs. So yeah. it's awesome having her on the team. Yeah. Well, I'm glad people see this because we really don't look like a puppy little now. <laughs> yeah. So they start off for the first two weeks in the incubator. These ones here are fixing to move out today or tomorrow into another area. I'll show you in a second. So this is a Draco litter and Darla. Down here, so Draco from Houston. Yeah. Yep. Our boy Bob. Mo Shake, yeah. boy. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. They're just we just so cute. Some Draco so. folks the other day as well. Yeah, this is yeah. Draco. This Draco, this nice. Our dogs are well taken care of. We have a lot of employees that we help people. You know, like they're all making money. We have five different employees. We have a bunch of co-owners. You know, these French Bulldogs, they don't really end up in shelters and stuff too often, so. What, what is the most expensive dog you ever sold? Number one? It was, it was uh, 175, 175. So, 175,000. Yeah, it was a fluffy. Uh, uh, fluffy chocolate and tan platinum that carries testable Isabella. Yeah. First year in, we had spent 154,000, Anthony and I. Not a dollar in return. That's where we started, and then we just started producing and holding back and that's how it went. Yeah. Dog has his own room. Yes. You know, live better than yeah. a lot of people. Who would do this unless they actually loved the dogs if you didn't yeah. need the money? It's a lot of work. Yeah. And they tear your house up, you know. So it's truly a passion for yeah. us. Yeah. But I love them. I have that need to nurture. Yeah. My kids are gone. We're empty nesters. My mom passed. So yeah. this is what we do. We don't have any other hobbies. So. Yeah. We just love them. Yeah. Me, I know, like I seen a lot of it from the beginning. You know what I mean? So for me to see it from the beginning, yeah. to see where it is now, like I'm impressed myself. Thank you. Know? you. So, and I like it. And that's why I reached out to Aaron. I was like, hey man, you know, we need to hook up and do something together. You know, and I appreciate you too. Well, thank uh, you, Allow me in your house. Yeah, of so course. Yeah, well, just so everyone knows, we had a 30 minute notice that they were yeah. coming. So this is truly what it's like in the day yep. of the life at um, my the life. Dodd house over here. Uh, kind of upset. Hey, how you doing? Good, yourself? All right, all right, all right. Let's go on, guys. Baby out. Yes, sir. Look, I'm already on camera. Okay. Look, I'm a fixer. Yeah, whenever we partnered up, December will be four years now, is really when our game started elevating. You know, we got Trigger. It did create a bunch of drama and stuff, but it really put us on the map. Then we got Luther and Kong, and that really just kind of what yeah. solidified it for us. You know, we've been super blessed ever since then at that point, so. Yeah. And of, it helps, All it of helps. our dogs are co-owned. Yeah. Like every single stud I have, I don't yeah. own 100% yeah. of none of them. Yeah. And it helps people understand how you have so many dogs and run the business the way yep. it's ran. Yep. So a lot of people can make up in their mind or imagine how they see it, yep. but which, which isn't true. Yep, you know, we exactly. Just, we're bringing it to their view right now. How it really yep. is. I love the saying. idea of this whole show. Yeah. That's cool. I appreciate it, man. Really yeah, cool. Yeah, they don't get a lot of interest because people just don't really know about this industry. Yeah. So we're about to go to the airport and drop off the goat semen and uh, through the American Airlines. And then we're going to go do takeoffs live breeding. That's the airway bill slip, so it'll have all the person's uh, information who's picking it up. And they gotta bring their ID so they make sure they're at least it's like the right person. So. I'm, a, I'm a bag getter, bro. I like money. You know, I got an expensive lifestyle. Like this little plaque thing, so you know, one of 55. <laughs> I like not only producing stuff, but putting my stamp on it. It's a bundle thing, you know. Producing that pedigree two times whatever like for me it's two times King Kong and the structure and the, the DNA we're chasing so it's a combination you know the 
more sought after dogs yeah. that are the more popular sell for the highest amount. So yeah. that's what we're trying to do. Where are y'all in town from? Lake Jackson, Lake Jackson, Texas. Lake Jackson. Okay, so About they're south of Houston. Okay, so yeah, they're they're from Houston too. So, okay. uh, which which girl are we breeding today? Sasha. Sasha, perfect. I produced this girl off of uh, my girl Suki and King Kong. Produced her, so she carries Testable, Isabella, and Fluffy. So he's full Fluffy. So and carries Testable, so we can get Isabella and Tan full Fluffies. Uh, yeah, mom. I produce you. I know. And Kong throws that blaze marking like that. It's so cool. It like she does not carry pied, one million percent. I always rub my finger in there just so I know where I'm going. Once I get that in, I take this pipette. I leave a couple of extra cc's of air. I tilt this up when I do it. I always get the seam into the end of the pipette so I don't just push air inside of her. So there's maybe a half an inch of air right there. That's it. I tilt it up so the sperm doesn't shoot out. And then I'll run this pipette along my finger line. We're almost there. Oop, there we there go. We so that just got us through that little opening. So now we're through that uterine wall. Just move slow with it, you know. We do it a little bit at a time, let it soak up and then, yeah. yeah. Take our time. Stimulate her a little bit. I know there's two cc's of air that goes into this. So that's why I leave this here. I'll look at the exact point I'm at. I'll push two cc's plus just an extra little bit, just to make sure that all of it gets in there. I don't leave any inside this pipette. Man, I can't wait to see the outcome on this one. That's always a good sign they start paying it like that. Oh yeah. I don't know why and girls just do that. When, like, when you do an AI and they're ready, like it's like a textbook thing. You can look at them and they'll start fucking, they're panting just like this. She's having fun. Yeah, <laughs> she ain't fighting this at all. There's no, there's no guideline. There's no format. There's no protocol. Um, it's like the wild, wild west. Yeah. You produce a dog and if you want to sell it for $100,000, you can sell it for $100,000. And if you pay your taxes and you know, yeah. That's, you know, so there is really no, there's no limits to it. A lot of people don't realize everything that goes into it, like all the, all the moving parts. So, um, you know, just putting positivity out there for newer breeders to see what's capable, what, the, what's, what they can achieve if they do it right and stick to it. I guess that's probably the best part yeah. about this, you know, yeah. uniting, every, getting everybody, you know, together and bringing the breeding world together. Yeah. And man, we appreciate you for your time, man. Absolutely, uh, man. Enjoying it. For well, allowing us to come to your house. Yeah, it was a you pleasure. Thank you for considering ride. me for the show. Oh yeah, man, for sure. We only want to have the best, man. And anybody yeah. that's bringing anything to the industry, we want to share with, with other people. For sure, for sure, man. You know, my breeders like they did. <laughs>